<laughs> These flies are like sirens, okay? They let the they let the nature know what's up. <laughs> we coming. As people, we are many universes walking around. And some of these universes we're never going to get to understand. Today, I'm attempting to share with you my universe. I'm attempting through my music to give you an experience that I couldn't say, that I can only show, that I can only piece together to you through my creativity so that you can understand me. Or, maybe not, but you're here, <laughs> and I know you want to watch, so let's dive into um, who we have today. My name is Say Nabu, and I am a new age hip-hop and R&B artist and blogger. As well, I am a painter, singer-songwriter, producer, and actress. Very happy to be here with the Misunderstood Unraveled documentary in a very raw experience, you know, and very happy to get a breakdown for you guys what this um, EP really is in my background for wanting to do this in the first place. I have been working on this diligently for about two years now, going in, putting down the instrumentals. I made all of the instrumentals, made the instrumentals in the story, which are very airy. I gave a lot of space in these instruments. So if you're one to um, want your stuff quick, tight, and in a hurry, it's not going to be the one for you. This is a time to get your chill on, light your sage, get your incense, and vibe out heavily, deeply, soulfully into this music. So what makes this EP special is that I've been working on it for a while and I put my own twist on the instrumentals. Actually, the instrumentals are named out off of the instrumental itself. So the name, the track listing of each song is named off of the instrumental. Not the, not, not the lyrics of the song, but the instrumental. So I'm giving it into a whole different aspect of interpreting music, I feel. And we're off. Of what I've done my, for my first two EPs. From the Mirrors to the Stages is my first two EP. From the Mirrors was the first one to the Stages was the second one. It was a continuation of... Um, my process of how I got through life during college. So from the mirrors to the stages, like from the mirrors, you understand that it all starts in your personal home. Then when you go outside to the stages, whether it be to the stage or some people say, the world is your oyster, the world is your stage, um, you go out and either all eyes on you, you know what I'm saying? So you're up to the stages at that point. So from the mirrors to the stages, it's like the constant evolution of evolving who you are from the mirrors to the stages, from the mirrors to the stages. Um, now, misunderstood is a whole different aspect of life where you see that people are not understanding you from this aspect to that aspect and coming to terms that they're never going to get it. They're never going to really understand uh, what you know, like this song, uh, Nobody knows the trouble I've seen but my Jesus. Or whatever you want to express it as. Um, they will never get to know who you are. You have to stand in your misunderstood ground stand your misunderstood ground and walk your way you see what i'm saying misunderstood is all about walking strongly throughout your path knowing that people are going to misunderstand you and that's okay but they'll never get it so you have to do what's right for you okay newbie intro is a track that is breaking down the gateways if you choose to walk into my world if you choose to walk into my paradise then I'm setting the boundaries, I'm setting the um, the standards for what you to are you what you are to experience and what I should expect from you as a listener to 
listen to my track. So you're here to relax, you're here to enjoy yourself. So as you listen to my music, understand that you are in your primal, you are love, and enjoy. Just enjoy yourself. So I'm setting those standards of um, reminding you of who you are so that you can enjoy this EP successfully. being misunderstood I think it, it really stems back to the idea that everyone just wants to feel normal you know what I mean and at the end of the day everybody is an individual so to be normal or to conform to everything else that's when it's like okay now they understand me or I'm part of this but when it gets to the point where somebody is truly you know trying to understand their individuality they might come off as a uh, uh, foreign entity or something and somebody might not actually say okay that's that's something that I'm used to so it takes a lot more courage to walk down that dark road and illuminate it yourself rather than just following in the you know the confines of you know whatever somebody's telling you right and so I definitely think that it's a lot easier to, to take that that lit path to walk in those other people's footsteps if you're on this you know plane if you're living this life and you feel like oh I'm misunderstood people don't understand me and that's how you're kind of operating as as like a victim of being misunderstood rather than saying it's you know disregarding that other perception saying okay it's fine you don't have to understand me, but I'm not misunderstood because I understand myself you know what I'm saying so I feel at the end of the day it really just has to to deal with the work that you do inside yourself you know what I'm saying because to be misunderstood is really I feel just you know to be your own person People just look at that as, wow, that person's weird or that person's different, right? But at the end of the day, we're all different. We're all weird in our own way, right? And the only time that people really fail is when they they, they choose to, to not acknowledge that. They choose to not really, you know, step into that own weirdness, that own individuality, you know, that own misunderstanding. Just keep going. You can't, you can't pair success with doubt. You gotta leave that doubt completely in the past because when you doubt that, that's that's the same thing that you say, oh, I misunderstood or maybe I'm not getting, you know, looked at the way I want to, but you just gotta keep working 
and keep growing and understand that it's not about if somebody else misunderstands you, it's about if you can understand yourself. And at the end of the day, that's really all that matters. Those of you all who don't know, I'm a follower of the Tao Te Ching. Legend goes that around 600 BC or so, there was a man who was leaving an empire that he was being self-exiled out of. And as he was leaving, the guard asked him to write down your teachings for me. Okay. To shed your light on the world. And that's exactly what he did. And he came up with 81 verses of ways to express yourself and ways to build a kingdom. It's pure genius, it's pure genius. The philosophy is that there are many ways to the way. There are a billion people, seven billion people on this earth. So there are seven billion ways to the way. Everyone is walking their own divine path and we are all connected through nature and through a divine force. I have taken its teachings, which have changed my life, to be the person that I am today. And having somewhat understanding, because as we're going to get into it, you can never really get a full understanding of this world, of who you are, of some experiences that you may experience, you know, you're never going to get a full grasp of the situation. <laughs> oh, I'll do this one. Um, to the C major, and then back to the. Come on, come on. How we doing on time? Come on, come on. <laughs> Our, it's only as as one six. Mm. I have brought a friend with me today. Miss mm. mm. Labradorite. Mm. It's in the dark, so you can't see it shine. Mm. You but can you see it shine. You can see it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> she wants to say hi to the camera. <laughs> Take my crystals out on dates. Hey. <laughs> you got to. Got LB. Like, it's nice action. <laughs> well, they need the fat on the bottom. <laughs> then I usually keep mine. What's your name? My name is Wah. Your name is Wah? Wah. Wah? Wah. Wah. Oh, like the guy. Yeah, the sun guy. How old are you? Uh, three. That's Aww, so cute. Three. I can see. Aww. <laughs> Aww. Adorable. How old are you? Oh <laughs> <laughs> that Libra gonna come out. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> yes. No, when it's just perfect, it's just like, yeah. oh wait, you too much. I can't. Like, I'm about to geek yeah. over you. that you're not about to understand is this earth well the first thing that you are not about to claim or the first thing that you are not about to take ownership or put a label on is this earth we are visitors here and we should cherish this mystical place as what it is due see i think we need to get more into the rhythm of understanding that true love is to understand something to the point where you don't need to understand it to love it. If I say I love you, then that means I, that takes I take you for who you are, what you want to be, what you thought you was, what you can't explain about yourself. I love you. That's unconditional love. I know that you're working it out, but I will still love you regardless.
coming to the conclusion that I have a safe space that has been kind of the hardest to wrap my mind around. For a while, I did not really have that safe space. I was, for a while in my life, I was constantly in a state of aloneness. So now being in a space where I have such a big support system, it's almost too good to believe at times. In those times where it's hard for me to acknowledge how I'm feeling, I know that it starts to show itself it starts to rear an ugly head in my relationship when i know that what's usually best for me is just talking it through maybe having an uncomfortable conversation i know for me that these things need to be acknowledged they need to be talked about put into the air so it's not just floating there and i can move on and and i'm happy after that and and it goes away after that and if i need to talk about it again i can talk about it again Another thing that I misunderstand is how big my support system really is mm -hmm. and how much I don't need to go through by myself when I have this team of people who's here for me because I am also there for them. There's so many people in this world who are looking for a person like you to be there for and to be there for them. You know, people want connections, people need connections. And we're not the only, like, I'm not the only person who needs that. You're not the only person who needs that. There's someone who wants to be there for you. My advice is to just find your safe space and let them love you, let it love you. Hey y'all, so over time with this documentary, coronavirus hit and it was a very trying time for us all. Definitely a trying time for the process of my EP and my documentary process. Now I'm gonna introduce you to a guy named Torin from Socket Studios in Baton Rouge. He is um, a great, great uh, engineer. He engineered Ground, my song Ground, and we're gonna meet him again. So here's Torin Hawkins uh, with the Misunderstood EP recording my single Restless. So I hope y'all enjoy. Peace. Restless is the second thing you ain't about to understand is me. You don't know me from uh, shooting in the gym, gym. You feel me? Like, you're not about to understand me fully because you cannot. You could never. You could never understand that objective truth of what happened understand the present moment of what I'm giving you right now and embrace that because that's the best that I have to give you. We come into this world with a snapshot, you know, there's millions of years before us, there'll be millions of years after us. So we come into this ever-changing world, like life is a constant thing, life is, a, it is eternal. Our existence is temporal, and our existence is the, the, the opportunity to experience life, of course. So by the time we're born, 
in the time that we gain consciousness, the world has changed vastly, vastly between that time. So we're given these structures, these um, these stories, a culture, um, a, uh, a national story, a, a, a religion, a, all these things that kind of keep you centered and give you something to grasp onto, to, to, to form some kind of identity, to navigate this world. One thing that's true for everybody, I think, is that we come to a point where those stories, that education, that culturalization, that socialization gets to be kind of insufficient. And not insufficient in a negative way, but insufficient as a, uh, like think of it as a, as a, as a skill or a talent that you're, that, you're, that you're trying to master, you know what I mean? Um, the skills that your high school coach or, or music teacher or whatever gave you are good for that time. You have to grow on those skills. Those skills that you learned in high school are insufficient in the next level. So I think that's the same thing about our, what we learn as children or as, as young adults in life. You, it becomes, it eventually becomes insufficient. We'll deal with this uh, phenomenon. I, I, I like that word phenomenon. I, I like it because it, 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 it is a natural thing. You know, it's something that we all go through uh, uh, naturally. And I think the the way we um, we uh, experience that, you know, it, it lives on a spectrum. And uh, on each extreme, on one extreme, you run back to what was given to you. And that's your salvation. That's your, yes, your kind of your, 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 your solace, your peace is the, this bow that you were raised in. And other people completely reject it and, and say everything that was told to me is a lie. And, you know, I question everything, and, and, you know, and I think in both extremes, you, you, you lose the um, the opportunity for discovery, you know, and I think that's where your, your misunderstanding comes in. It, it, it's constantly breaking down our expectations, constantly breaking down what we think we know, constantly breaking down how we see our worldview and, and restructuring it to fit an ever changing and ever growing world and ever growing knowledge base and um, and um, um, and, and, and just see me contributions to, to the overall lexicon of what this existence is. Creep is this mystical, like, experience where I'm taking you down into the, the, the cellar of thought. I've experienced the hardships of not knowing where to turn next, being so depressed that people are interpreting my smile for happiness that they think I'm happy just because I'm smiling when it's truly not the case. Misunderstanding my world, you know. So it talks about that dark place where when you don't know where to turn, what do you do, what can you do, you know. Um, and that's express yourself, that's getting mad, that's, that's embrace how you're feeling in this present moment.
I'll go with that. <laughs> <laughs> Knowing yourself is crucial to surviving. You must know your environment. You must know everything about yourself to understand the world around you. It's all a reflection. It's all um, fractals. The sage will tell you knowing yourself means knowing the all. The all expresses itself through everything. So once you know a piece of that tree or that person or that that car or whatever it may be, I learn a little bit about myself. Knowledge of self is important because if you do not know the power behind the conscious mind, then you will meet the big bad wolf, which is the unconscious mind or the subconscious mind. And that's realer, that's, that's the truth. as an adolescent failing to me was equivalent to receiving that D or F on um, uh, maybe an assignment from school so failing was one it was more about not mastering something than it was about doing my best let's just say okay so right now I'm a teacher and if any of my students they believe that they have maybe failed on something because they failed their math test or they didn't do as well on their math test. And I would tell them, hey, did you do your best? Did you, did you work diligently? Did you persevere? I think sometimes we as people can be so hard on ourselves because of our own expectations and, um, and then we label ourselves um, in the same way that the school system does. We believe those labels and what we should be focused process that led to that outcome um, and use that to define hey did you fail or not you know I, I think fail is, is, is a very uh, it's mean I think that's a mean word um, and that's not to say that I don't think that people should uh, be held accountable and, and self reflect and know where they could be doing better but don't be so quick to say oh I failed or especially you feel because it's not what other people expected. Because sometimes we we base our own doing or the result of our own doing by how other people view it, judge it, um, their opinion about it. And they don't, they don't determine as uh, or feel or they should. I'm a Christian and we are taught, even in the Bible, uh, we're encouraged to take one day at a time but when we literally take one day at a time we're able to um pace ourselves better and we're able to set goals for that day and when we appreciate the, the small goal it makes the bigger picture um more evident it makes it more obvious to us and we appreciate the outcome of the bigger picture or when we take every day at a time if you feel at something it doesn't make you a failure and i don't believe that people are failures i don't think that that exists i don't think that exists beyond the mind of, of, of people um and i think it's deception live in truth walk in faith not by sight and um just, just love love yourself so that you can love others and this world will be a better place but don't let what other people think or say about you um, define you.
one is I guess you're trying to get out of the cellar at this point and you are in the police station where they're trying to help you out with your figuring out who you are so we went into this dark hole and now we're getting out with help um with it could be friends i like to think of it as the police but it's it's somebody who has your back to monitor like who are you you know so that's my little police station song As I was going about t thinking of how the best way to present this project to my people, I was thinking maybe I should do a documentary. And it was a beautiful choice because I get to now break down to you guys what I'm thinking, what I'm doing, and just the essence of being misunderstood. Love, that's our superpower. You know, so being able to love something truly is the purpose of this EP. For self-love, that's what I'm advocating for. Not being able to understand something, but still rocking with it anyways, you know. Could never even get a ballpark of understanding something, but still saying, hey, I, I find love, namaste. I find that love within you to um, rock with you anyways, because I'll never know what you're going through. gotta understand how to, you know, obstruct those things, you know, while, you know, avoiding that obstruction, because a lot of people, it's, it's your choice, and I mean, corny as the shit sounds, is really reality, you can choose to not react to something, now some shit's out of your balance, like if the threat becomes physical, monetary, and shit, like if you know, you can get anything back, but like if the shit becomes detrimental to your everyday, like your survival on any level, because you're surviving on many levels, you're surviving on a physical level, emotional level, a mental level, a financial level, you know, different levels of survival. We surviving on. So if that shit threaten any level of those survivors, you gotta understand that shit's worth a different level of sacrifice to maintain. So you know. With that being said, if it's not that level of threat, you got to understand, not so much as taking shit bold with it, it's just like how to maneuver and, and reconstruct the flow of energy to fit you. Sometimes it's going to have to rub against you. It ain't got to hit you. Sometimes you got to let it rub against you. Just to, you know, toss it off. You got to absorb the energy and boom, you know, deflect it. You got to absorb it and deflect it. So, if you can't completely avoid it, absorb and reflect, roll that off. And that's what I've learned to cope with. It's not like some, you know, ancient method. It's just being understanding, like somebody say something ignorant. <laughs> and you understand it was directed, it was purposeful. Even if it was 1% negative towards something that's you, you understand the intent and what it was to do. So you gain the balance, like, Crazy, unfortunate, right? Well, guess what? I ordered these hot dogs and Dixie cups two days ago. I gotta go pick them up. Just something that has no bearing and something with no understanding. And that person's like, What? What? And you're like, Yeah, I just gotta move. I gotta do anything to get away from this situation. 
I got to do anything to get away from this while still being kind and courteous. Man, well, look at the time. Look at a wrist with no watch. Man, look at the time. I need to be getting out of here, you know? So they understand, like, this was uncomfortable, but I won't make it overly uncomfortable to give you reason to strike negativity in my life when I can just dodge a bullet. Because if I give you reason, you know, not to, it's just we see so many examples on TV and in real life of you fortunately unfortunate to see how any situation can escalate into something that's fatally detrimental to you. And it's like, give them a reason. People waiting for a reason. People waiting for any situation to exterminate your energy. So it's like, why give them a reason? First thing I do, yeah, thank God I got out of that. Boom. Hey, man, you left your phone. It's straight. You can have that bitch. Man, you left your wallet. Man, mail it to me. You remember how much money you got in that? It's yours. Take it. Take it. I will pay you to leave me the fuck alone. It's me being intertwined with your energy, with your presence is that you remember to. Because you're looking for a reason. And that's not just in any specific individual. That's in any situation. That's a walk of life. Because it's not just about them causing harm to you. What about your reaction? You may misinterpret how far they gonna go. They coming with a knife, you throwing a grenade because you understand you're not even there for that. And just for somebody to test, to have the proxy to test your resolve in this situation may send you to a point of uncontrollable status and you may result to basic instincts and react to a way to where now things are detrimentally fatal to your survival on different levels. Just we fighting for freedom from everything that can restrict us. So if you lose any form of freedom because of some action that some other motherfucker has caused in your life or as they fall, uh, you have to avoid that, bro. Classic is being embraced by Mother Nature, coming out of that hole, coming out of that dark place where you are embraced by the world, by the universe, and you find the light within seeing that it's okay to not understand. And the universe will always love you regardless. So you can be that example that you want to see and let that light shine and let that fire spark and have that fire be the ambiance to you're walking your way. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? You are walking your divine path and nobody can tell you anything at that point because you're flying then. You're flying. The first thing that I would say in looking for freedom, please don't look into or ask anybody else about your freedom. A lot of times we make the mistake of asking people for advice on transitioning, um, you know, without whether it's spiritual, whether it's uh, physical, emotional, uh, we always look to someone else for advice. But in this case, when you're seeking freedom and you're trying to figure out what that looks like, you gotta go inward. And when you go inward and you look within yourself, a lot of times it takes a moment of just being still. And sometimes we got so much chaos all around us. We got this person in this ear, this person in this ear. We got our job demanding, we got children, you know, those of us who have children or whatever. Um, everything is so demanding, but we gotta take a take the moment to just close everything off, sit in stillness, sit in silence, and just think about what does freedom look like to me? What does that mean? Everybody's version of freedom just looks different. For me, from my personal pers perspective and my personal journey, for me, freedom meant 
not to work a normal nine to five. It wasn't challenging for who I am and what I bring to the table. And also my spirit desired more. Whenever you are doing what the creator called you to do, that's freedom. And, and can no one take that away from you? Somebody can always snatch a job. If you're, if, if it's your car that you love, you can have an accident as soon as you leave your house. Boom, that's gone. But your gift and your talents will always bring you freedom because that's a way of you challenging your natural self and who you are. And don't be afraid to do it. Don't look at it. Don't look at other people to give you that. By any means necessary. If you got to snatch it, snatch it. But be glad that you did it and walk in it. Never look at it as a negative. And that's the thing, all of us can get it. But a lot of people are so practical and so topical, they won't even allow themselves to get to that point because they're either paper chasing or they're just caught up in the whole, you know, rat race of living and trying to keep up with the Joneses. But everybody has that opportunity. And if more people would do that, this place would be so much more peaceful I mean, it would be, it would, all of this drama that we see from the presidential race and all of the politics and, and things that's out there, if, if all of us took the time to tap into that peace of freedom, man, it would be so amazing. But a lot of people don't, a lot of people to them, they feel like that they're free because they financially can afford it. But to me, they're more held hostage than the, the person that's in the hood that's struggling because they have much more to deal with. So a lot of times people look at, they look at your gifts as a weakness instead of looking at the person for who you are. And so that, that's where the misunderstanding to me comes in. For me, freedom means just walking in the skin that I'm in, enjoying life and doing exactly what I love to do by any means necessary. that song that is a song that I resonated with since a little girl to have that connection with source so deep that it's okay what happens to you it's okay with you know you see the light in in all really do I call it misunderstood for a reason I call it misunderstood because I'm owning up to the fact that I am who I say I am and no one will be able to grasp it and I think that's very important because when we want to hold on to something and want to put fit something in perfectly in a box or label it as something you know that is something that we are so used to and it can be a danger zone as well if we don't find the balance and understanding what you can grasp what you can grasp what are you actually looking at what are we actually dealing with here we're dealing with people we're dealing with infinite beings to be misunderstood is the way of life it is the way of no way to be misunderstood is freedom you just gotta live by you you know because it's like you're not gonna find peace by just you know trying to uh, trying to you know cater to everybody like what they think like the ideal person should be mm -hmm. you know you just it's, it's just not gonna work you know you're gonna end up you you you're never gonna be happy with yourself That thing specifically is how much everyone is the hero in their own story. Um, for me, 
a lot of my life, I felt like the people that I saw as villains or like evil or dastardly uh, people, I felt like they saw themselves the same way. Okay, long, long, kind of a long answer. I wish we didn't understand anything at all. To this, to me, all this shit going on, even like these walls and computer, everything, I, it should not be happening. 